Hi, Sam here at Rockville with a cool tip on how to improve your car's audio system by adding a stiffening capacitor to your electrical system. I'm sure all you bass heads have been here. You're driving along the road, the bass is bumping and thumping, and every time you hit a really intense bass note, your lights start to dim, your windshield wipers slow down. What this means is that your car does not have enough juice, or for all you pros out there, enough electrical amps to power your system when it draws maximum current during those really deep bass notes. Well, adding a capacitor can totally take care of that and also greatly improve the quality of your car's sound system. Basically, let's think of the capacitor as an extra storage tank of power for your audio amplifier, just like a battery, but better. Why is it better? It's better because a capacitor stores and dispenses its electrical current faster than a battery. It can charge and discharge in literally nanoseconds. That's faster than you can blink an eye. Capacitors are measured in farads, and this particular Rockville RX-C2D is rated at 2 farads and will work in electrical system rated from 12 volts and handle up to a 24 volt surge. That's a lot of voltage. What it means to you is that when your car's base amp requires more amperage from your electrical system, the Rockville RX-C2D will provide that extra current so that your base sounds tight. And of course, you can say goodbye to those dimming headlights and slow wipers every time you hit a bass note, once you have your capacitor installed. Okay, so how do we set it up? Let's take a look. The Rockville RX-C2D comes with the following necessary accessories. First off, here is a hex wrench so you can open and tighten the hex terminals of the capacitor. Next included are four stainless steel screws for the really cool Lucite bracket assembly. Also included are two ring terminals for your positive and ground wires. And finally, this bleed resistor. This little dude is really important. The first time you are going to power up your capacitor, you will wire the resistor in series with positive terminals of the capacitor. This will slow the flow of current during the first initial charge of the capacitor, so it charges safely. Figure about 10 seconds is adequate. Now you have to create the ground and power wires. We recommend using between 8 or 4 gauge for best results. And attach the ring terminal with the black rubber insulation jacket as so. Do the same thing using another piece of wire for the power side and use the red insulation jacket on the ring terminal. Now open the terminals using your hex wrench and attach the red ring terminal to the positive terminal and the black ring terminal to the negative terminal. Now, connect the positive wire lead from the capacitor to your car audio amplifier's positive terminal. The capacitor should also be receiving power from your car's battery, or you can use a power distribution block. Attach the negative wire from the capacitor to any ground point in the car. Power up your system. The voltage on the RX-C2D will begin to climb and the LED meter will show what voltage your car's electrical system is sitting at. The blue LEDs will light as voltage changes, sort of like a power meter. The RX-C2D is rated for systems up to 1,000 watts. For larger systems, the Rockville RX-C4D, which is rated for 4 farads, is for systems larger than 1,000 watts. And that's it! Adding a stiffening capacitor will greatly improve your car's sound. Hope you enjoyed this video, brought to you by Rockville, your high-end audio alternative.